Salute, salute to that. We're going to move on. Now we got Kim Porter. Now, a lot of things is going to come out, man, because uh, a lot of people have been saying this and that and that and this about Kim Porter. Now we got Kim Porter, for, former associate, uh, alleges mistress of Obama bin, what? Obama, uh, Osama bin Laden says that Diddy tried to make Kim lick Caesar's tampon. Hold on, what the hell? Okay, I didn't, oh, okay, so I didn't actually read this title until now. I just saw Diddy and I just clicked it. What the fuck? Wait, wait. Did I just read that right? Kim Porter, former associate, alleged mistress of. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, alleged. Well, I don't know what the hell going on. Wait, wait, whoa. Uh, let me just say allegedly. I'm just gonna say, could it be? Because I don't know what the hell I'm about to play. I don't know what the hell I'm I'm, I'm about to play. But could it be? Okay, I'm just gonna say, could it be? All right, for the record, uh, I don't know what the hell going on, but could it be? Hey, play my shit, man. Be, be, be. Play, play my shit. Could it be? Could it be? Could it be? Could it be, Chad? Could it be? Let me say, because now I gotta be very careful. Could it be? Is it possible? Allegedly, could it be? Could it be? Could it be? Could it be? I don't know. And I have to speak this way because when you're living under threats of people who are trying to control media narratives as lawyers, I have to speak this way. Could it be? All right, so I don't know what is about to be said in this video. I just saw the title. And so, uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Hold on, I gotta read this. <laughs> I don't want to read it. Somebody read it for me. Oh, nobody's gonna read this. Pass. And okay, yeah, read it for me. I ain't got time to be read. I'm on this, I'm on this beer. I don't feel like reading. <laughs> Somebody read it for me. Oh, shit. I guess I gotta read it. Oh, damn, I thought it was gonna read. Okay, get it straight. I publicly accused Diddy of all of this publicly over 15 years ago, but y'all hate me for being uh, African and for the Osama bin Laden sex slave. What? So every time I try to tell you something about our lives in NYC, Hollywood, Miami, you claim I'm lying. What the hell is she talking about? When you're rich and powerful, there are all kinds of ways to fake a death. Wait, okay. I don't know what you're talking about, lady. If Kim had on in there, and she could have walked in and set up, and she would have the rest of the hospital, and she was only 47, which is like 27 in Africa. Oh, Lord. Jesus, okay. I'm just going, I don't know what you're talking about. 47 is 47. What the hell? 47 is 27. And okay, I can't take you. What the hell are you talking about? That's 27 in African women. And, black. and there's a woman by the name of Cola Buff, who's a writer. And she also. What the hell? OK, so if you are America 47, you Africa 47. So so you 20 years younger. In Africa. What the hell is she talking about? She say Kim, Kim. Hold on. What did she say? She say Kim Porter is 47, which means she's 27 in Africa. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you one of those. What the fuck? Okay, I don't know what the hell is. What the fuck? Biden's mistress, child, she claims that she had a conversation with Kim before she passed, and Kim told her about some of the horrific things Diddy did to her, and she also said Cassie wasn't really sympathetic toward Kim like that, at least not at first. At the time, Cassie was the new girl in the picture, and Diddy would flaunt her around Kim, and allegedly Cassie liked the attention. She didn't realize that Diddy was going to be mistreating her the same way he mistreated Kim. But this is what Cola said. She said, Diddy was an mf -er. Y'all would not even begin to believe the way he treated Kim poor. I believe it. I believe it. Shoo. I can believe it, man. R.I.P. Diddy, boy, you a piece of shit, boy. Hey, you gonna burn in hell for this, for real. I don't care what all music you made, nigga. You gonna burn in hell for this shit. This nigga's a foul-ass nigga. He a foul-ass nigga, man. You better get on your knees and repent and beg the Lord for forgiveness. You's a dirty, foul-ass nigga. Order. And ironically, Cassie back then allowed herself to be used to disrespect Kim in her own home. Cassie let herself be flaunted in Kim's face, laughed at Diddy beating Kim, was awful. I feel bad. Whoa, wait, whoa, wait, what? Cassie let herself in Kim's face, laughed at Diddy. Be Cassie let herself be flaunted in Kim's face, laughed at Diddy beating Kim. Whoa, so allegedly Cassie was laughing at Diddy beating Kim. Boy, Carmen came back on your ass on that elevator. Allegedly. See, see, man, boy, you got to be careful. You got to be careful on, on what you do in this world because that shit could come back and bite you. Now, I don't know if this is true or not. I'm only reading it. I'm saying if this is true, boy, karma got your ass. All right. I don't know. I don't know. Could it be? But I'm just saying, if this is true, now look at you. All right. So I don't know if this is true or not.
I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Her own home. Cassie let herself be flaunted in Kim's face, laughed at Diddy beating Kim, was awful. I feel bad for Cassie getting beat up like that, but I still remember when Cassie allowed herself to be used racially against Kim Porter as Diddy humiliated, beat, and repeat Kim for years. Wow. Y'all have always hated me for talking the real about these men, but they deserve it. What wow. y'all saw in that video of Diddy beating Cassie was nothing. Hey, and that's what I said too. I said, you know what? Diddy was probably having a good day that day. That was one of my first things that I said. I said, you know what? Diddy was probably having a good day that day. That was probably light work. We ain't probably seen nothing yet. If, if he had the balls, no Diddy. If he had the kahunas to do that in broad daylight in a public area, imagine what he does in the privacy of his own home. <laughs> this nigga did this in a popular hotel. Somebody could have opened the door and seen him walk running in the robe. Well, it wasn't even a robe, it was a towel. Somebody could have easily uh, been in the elevator, going to that floor, and walked out that elevator and seen Diddy and Cassie in that moment. Right? So just imagine what he does in the, in, in the privacy of his own home. Man, ain't no telling what this man, yeah, he a piece of shit. Fuck Diddy. I'll never forget the time he tried to make Kim Porter lick Cassie's tampon, always using Kim's race as a put down. Whoa, wait. What? Wait, what? Cassie was nothing. I'll never forget the time he tried to make Kim Porter lick Cassie's tampon. Yo, come, wait, wait. wait. How do you know this? How, 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 how would you possibly know? Damn, man. Does, does, does Kim Porter have like a diary or something? What? How does she know this? How does she know that? What? How, how does she know that? See, man, stuff like this, man. Man, you got to have, man. But you know what, man? With Diddy, man. That's cr I don't know what to say about this. She, man, damn. I don't know, man. That that shit crazy. I don't know nothing about this. I'm just I'm just here reporting. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's false. I'm just saying this is crazy. Always using Kim's race as a put down. You guys don't know the half of what women go through with the famous and powerful men. Uh, you know what? I might sound fucked up, but this is what you fucking get. All right, all you women say that you want this type of man. Uh, do you still want this type of man? And ninety nine point nine percent of the time, you already knew this. So you already knew what you was getting yourself into, but yet you still wanted that light. You still wanted to walk down the red carpet. 90% of the time, y'all already know this. So it's like, yeah, it's fucked up, but you already knew that this shit was going to happen to you. Right? All you women be like, yeah, I want a man that's, you know, this and that. Oh, do you, do you really want a man like that? Because look at the men with this type of power ain't going to take none of that bullshit that you be saying. Yeah, you, you're going to be their slave in real life. You can't talk, you can't breathe, you can't walk, you can't, you can't do nothing. You, he going to control you just for you to get a little Birkin bag, right? And then when he done with your ass, he going to throw you outside and pick up another one. And now you're going to be asking for sympathy. So it's like, it's like a, it's like, it's fucked up. But at the same time, you put yourself in that situation. So like, I don't know, man, it's like, it's fucked up, but you, but you knew what you was getting yourself into. You knew what you you knew Diddy was a a, a a fucked up individual. So now you want sympathy because he did it to you. Let me guess. You thought he was gonna change. Let me know. You think he was gonna change, he wasn't gonna do it to you. Man. So it's like, yeah, it's fucked up, but at the same time, come on. You knew what this was about. You heard the stories. You seen it. But you thought that you had enough control to control him. You thought that he wouldn't do this to you because he said, no, nah, baby, I ain't going to do it to you. No, nah, baby. <sighs> that shit crazy. Be they rappers, be they Bin Laden, be they actors. Y'all have no idea. And you always demonize the women. Always. And someone said, did she allow herself or was she forced to do it? And Cola said she wasn't forced back then. She was the new piece and loved being told she was superior to Kim due to her race and her hair and all the typical stuff that women suck up when they're being used to put down another woman. But later on, he started treating her the same way he did Kim. I feel bad for Cassie. I really do. No woman deserves that treatment. Exactly. However, I'm not about to forget the fact that Cassie enjoyed Diddy Humiliation. Kim Porter with the whole quote unquote Latina chick is superior to you dark black chick insults that went on for years. Well, I don't know nothing about that. 
So I ain't gonna speak on, you know, the whole Latina. I, I have not because I don't keep up with people life like that. I really I truly don't. So I don't know, you know, w- w- what the case may be. But um no woman deserves any type of treatment like this, right? But you women need to be careful what you ask for. Cause these men in these positions don't think you're gonna be the only one. They don't think you're gonna change into somebody. All right. Diddy gonna be Diddy because he he thinks he can get away with it, right? He thinks if he get with this politician and if he does this campaign, you know he's gonna be protected. You you gonna be protected for for only so long, but when they get done with your ass, they gonna be done with your ass. So yeah, they gonna let you shine for a little bit, but when your time has expired, oh, it's about to come a raining. Oh yeah, all your little deep deep darkest secrets is about to come out. So hopefully you enjoyed your lavish lifestyle because that shit all is it's, it's, it's about to be taken away from you. So yeah, be careful what you ask for. All right, be careful what you ask for because you just might get it, and I don't think you're gonna like it. Kim was so sweet and so wrongly abused. Someone said, not asking this question because I don't believe you, but was Cassie in the room when Diddy was doing these things to Kim? Cola said, one time, four in the morning, Diddy brought Cassie, who was basically a teenager, into his bedroom where Kim Porter was sleeping and woke up Kim and told her to get out the bed so Cassie could get in it. Kim was being treated like ish for years and Cassie giggled about it until she became Kim later on. I can believe that. Now, I'm not saying that it's true. I'm not saying that it's false. I'm saying I can believe it. That don't sound like too. I, 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 that sound like some Diddy shit. I can believe it. It could be she. She could be lying. I don't know. Something about this just don't make me think that she's lying. I don't know, but that's just my opinion. Now I'm not saying that it's facts. I'm just saying, could it be? And Diddy, you a piece of shit. On now, this information is interesting, and I do want to. Now, who is this lady right here? Before I say something. Who is this? Because everybody going to get some smoke. Who is this lady? Who is this? Do anybody know who this is? I don't know who this is. Who is this? I'm about to flame this motherfucker. Who, is, is this person okay? Y- y'all don't know? Okay. Is this is this person... Okay. That's... Oh, okay, because I don't know what this is, all right? I don't trust nobody that I'm confused of, all right? So I'm going to halfway believe you and halfway cap you because I don't even know what the fuck you are, all right? I don't know if you half man, half amazing. I don't know if you she man, he man, or the Incredible Hulk, all right? So I can't trust your ass, all right? I halfway trust you like I halfway believe what the fuck you are, okay? I don't know what the fuck you is now. Now, everybody going to get flamed on this goddamn panel now. I don't care who you are. You getting flamed, roasted up, toasted up, all right? You look like a skinny clump. All right. You look like the clump that got skinny, but the face still fat. I don't know what the fuck wrong with you. All right. You need to get your shit together. All right. I don't know if I, if I want to hoop or, or fucking put you in the skirt. Now, I don't know what's going on. You look like a WNBA All-Star Hall of Fame, uh, WFFC, WWF champion. What the fuck going on here? What we doing? All right, I'm going to flame your ass up just like everybody else now. Now, 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 move along. Move along. A note that Cola was not a close friend of Kim. She said she met her once and she had several phone conversations with her and Kim allegedly told her all of this information. Mm -hmm. We don't know if everything is true or not, but if it is true. (laughs) Shout out to the chat, man. Hit that like button. Hold on. I don't trust nobody that that, that make me go, hmm, when I see you. If if, if I look at you and I got to go, hmm, hmm. If I look at you and, and I got to go, hmm? No, something ain't right. I don't know. I, I need to be straightforward. Yeah, okay, that's a man. That's a girl. But but if I got to look at you and I got to, hmm? Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, I'm just saying. I don't trust you. I don't trust you because I don't, I don't, I'm confused. Just, just off the rip. I'm, hmm? Hmm? All right, let's move on. I could actually see Cassie being deluded into thinking that she was better than Kim at the time because you have to think about it. Cassie was young. I mean, she started. All right, shut up. I don't want to hear you. I, I just want to hear from the person. All right, moving on. Oh, <laughs> 